hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this video it has to be for a reason so i made this two ti 68 birthday cake for a lovely lady as you can see it's classy and it's beautiful there is a lot you can learn from this video that they will not teach you in a baking school anyway so sit tight and watch to the end and if you're coming to my page for the first time please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share to your friends i like to bake my cakes and leave it to cool overnight it tastes even much better believe me the next day i don't like to use simple syrup in my cakes in this way the cake will be very moist that's one of my secrets in baking for this cake i made red velvet and chocolate cake covered in my american buttercream frosting i will leave the link for chocolate red velvet cake and the american buttercream in the description below so don't hesitate to watch it watch the full recipe so let's get started take a bowl and take a small portion of your buttercream and add a little water to thin it out because you cannot cram coat your cake with a thick buttercream so level your cake make sure it's well leveled and, and trimmed take a small portion of the buttercream and apply on your cake board and place your cake on it in this way your cake will not shake when you're trying to sandwich your cake so this is going to be my top tier cake which is eight inches and i am using a round eight inches flat board to stack the cake you don't want to use oversize because that will not sit well on top of the 10 inches when you're trying to stack your cake if you are a beginner make sure you follow every step i've taken in this video and you will get it right then if you're ready in the baking business i know you can relate to this video you can relate to what i'm telling you so now when you're done stacking your cake get a parchment paper or baking paper anyone you call it place on top of your cake and place your spirit leveler to check if it is straight or not if it's not straight trim out the excess keep trimming as you're trimming you turn around you, you trim you turn it around you trim until you get it straight then trim the sides trim the sides to get a smooth smooth side yes i don't like stress then apply your thin layer of buttercream frosting to lock all that crumbs you see coming out that can really ruin your cake believe me so when you apply it then use your side scraper and smooth it out pop it in the fridge to chill then repeat the same process with the 10 inches the same process and pop in the fridge as well if you're still here with me thank you i really appreciate please don't forget to subscribe to my channel then give me a thumbs up and leave me a nice comment if you think i'm making sense <laughs> I know you're thinking, why is she cutting out all these cakes? It's too much, my dear. I was baking this cake and I was at the same time doing other things. And I left my cake in the oven for a long time. So part of it got burnt. But it's better to get burnt than underbaked. So for the 10 inches, I'm using a cake drum because that will be the board to hold the whole cake it's going to be quite heavy that's tons of cake, kilos of cakes so i'm using a cake drum for the 10 inches so i can be able to stack the eight on top and carry it around without um having any problem if you're still watching thank you and please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up so guys i don't know if i've mentioned it before crumb coat is very important especially when you're working with a tiered cake you have to do the crumb coat this means all these crumbs you see coming out the thin layer of the buttercream you apply will lock it if not it's going to be messy when you are applying your second coat it's very important and always clean your work surface 
so that you don't get those tiny 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 cakes inside your clean buttercream okay when you apply the second coating and you scrape it and you find out that the butter is becoming um, soft do not panic it happens all the time so what you do is pop it into the fridge and leave it to set for some minutes then bring it out and continue then do the same thing to the eight inches which remember we kept in the fridge for some for some minutes apply the second coating when it's soft put it back into into the fridge do not panic it happens it depends on the weather where you are but here in ghana the weather is hot sometimes so do like that and you won't have any problem i know you can see how smooth it is Oh yes, if you can follow my recipe, follow my instructions, you will get it right. Now it's time to stack. So what you need to do is take the 8 inches pan you have and place it on top of the 10 inches um, cake just to trace where you want to put your stick. Put your stick around, make sure you put enough stick so that it can hold the weight of the 8 inches. If you don't put the stick very well, the cake will, will sink. I think in this video, I added like eight or nine or 10 and stick in my cake for the structure. I can't really remember who is counting anyway. <laughs> so um, I'm doing this now because of, um, for the sake of this video. Normally I transport my cake separately because the roads are not good. So to avoid any stories that touches the heart. Customers will not hear, will not like to hear any stories. So for the video sake, I'm going to stack the whole cake so you can see how it's been done. When you put your steak, use the butter and cover where the steak is. Then pick up your eight inches and place directly on top of where you put the steaks. And if you're looking at the video, you can see there are some lines that line is the cake board. What do we do with, uh, with it? It's very simple. We'll get to that shortly. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm applying my gold leaf on the cake. Yeah, that's the design I'm doing for this cake. It's actually the customer's um, preference. So I'm applying the gold leaf on the body. And when you want to apply the gold leaf, make sure that the cake is... Um, a little wet if not the gold leaf will not stick so when I'm done applying the the gold leaf then the next thing I'll do is to cover those lines I'm looking at it the cake board nobody wants to see that in in their cake so what do you do just put um, a buttercream some buttercream in your piping bag and pipe around the cake to cover it then use your fingers and smooth it out you can do this because the cake is not soft then when you're done smoothing it out then cut your flour and arrange it please make sure your flour is clean i actually washed my own a day before using it with um, some warm water and vinegar white vinegar to kill any jam in the flour i know this flour will buy from um, the mall it can be dusty so don't just put it on someone's cake that's not hygienic so try and wash it and dry it before using it for your cake thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and i will respond to it thank you see you in my next video love you guys